Now, the iPhone 7 Plus is an amazing phone, but there's one major problem, which is I cannot charge the phone and listen to music at the same time in the car. Which, if I'm travelling, as I do a lot, as a musician, spend a lot of time in the car, means I can't really use Waze to get me to gigs and listen to podcasts or listen to music without the thing um, kind of cocking up. And, of course, recording videos for you guys. So this, this is the Anchor Sound Sync Drive, which I hope is going to solve that problem. So, read up on Amazon about this. Hopefully it will do what I need it to do. Basically, my car is now 10 years old. It doesn't have car kit or even a USB drive on it. So, what I'm hoping is this will allow me... It has Bluetooth kit for the phone, but doesn't have it for the normal audio. The wire just came off in my hand. That's not good. Well, that's a fat lot of use. It doesn't work. The USB, so that is even worse. So, in other words, don't buy this worthless piece of... So which left do you think is going to come first? Yeah, so which one's going to be first? No. Oh, I don't think. <laughs> Did it win? You press zero. Um. No, I don't get him. Put the load. Another Apple charger, so she doesn't steal daddy's. Yeah. It went to the Apple store. I've got a well, show and tell. I've got this Belkin adapter which was nearly £35, so not cheap. Let's see if it does the job. Chat plug in one, charger in the other. Will this charge the phone and play audio at the same time? It's charging the phone, can you see? Will it play audio? Well done Apple, well done Belkin, that works. Big problem for the last six months of that one in the iPhone 7, solved. So we had a great trip to Cambridge. I couldn't quite afford to buy Katie a Tesla for her birthday, although they do look pretty special cars. And I was really interested to talk to the guys about the Model 3. Unfortunately, the guy uh, in the shop, which is the kind of that Tesla sh garage dealer, whatever you want to call it, is within a shopping arcade in Cambridge. But he was telling me that um, there's no kind of um, right-hand drive Model 3s out yet, which is the new one that Tesla have launched, not the one I showed you there. But he has got me down on the waiting list, so if I get the opportunity to drive it, be sure that will be a vlog. Um, so that was really exciting. Did the shopping. Really pleased to finally solve that problem. If you've had that problem that I've had, the iPhone 7 Plus is a phenomenal phone. I really, 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 really love it. Um, the camera on it is incredible. The processing speed is wonderful. Everything about it is fantastic apart from not being able to charge it. And I don't want to get a charging case because probably, sorry, one second, I'm trying to find the comments for do Q&A in a moment. Because one of the issues is, of course, it's such a big phone. If you put a battery case like I have, or had for my six, um, you're just making the phone humongous and it's just too big to carry in your pocket. Although I've got to say, I have found that the um, 7 Plus has not been 
as cumbersome as I thought it would be. The reason I didn't get a 6 Plus was I thought that's way too big for a mobile phone, but actually it's perfectly manageable once you get used to it. So let's go Q&A. Mine nickname uh, said he's um, from Germany but staying in Cambridge. Wanted to try some saxophones and is there any place in London that would recommend and also uh, if I'm playing live anywhere. Okay, let's answer the live question. Best place to go for any gigs, and this applies to all of you, is www.downforshow.com or my Facebook page. I do try and keep those up to date with gigs. The website is the key one though, because my management will update that one, not me. So that's always, in fact, I confess to someone the other week that um, occasionally I do actually have to go to my own website to find out where I'm supposed to be playing in the next few weeks. Although my schedule is not as heavy as it used to be. I do say no to a lot of stuff these days. But yeah, all the end. As far as saxophones goes, there is a great shop in Cambridge called Woburn and Reed. Um, or if you're going into London, I've got to recommend two places, sax.co.uk, which is near Warren Street tube station or the Towers of London which is near Baker Street they're the two um, primary shops that I would use in London I'm sure there are others but they haven't kind of been in touch with me or I havenven't gone along there uh, Andrea22213 says that she uses this is for the sticky G shop meths uh, on a cotton bulb with a pad on the town hall followed by a swipe with a 50 pound note my goodness me, you mustn't be a professional musician if you've got £50 notes lying around. I'm only joking, I'm only joking. You must be more successful than the vast majority of people I know. Um, I wouldn't risk a £50 note because I'd be scared of ripping it. A $1 bill is certainly a bit cheaper than using a £50 note. Uh, John Rudofsky's uh, talking about uh, Ray Wilkes' Mark VI, a vlog I did last year, if you haven't watched it. It says, great sounding horn and an interesting story. And Wow, well, thank you, John, because actually, in all my vlogs, I'm always trying to make them an interesting story. So, whilst I want them to be informative, I want the story to be interesting, because hopefully that's what keeps you coming back. And if you're interested in doing your own vlogs or blogs, it's trying to keep a story going. And so, I try and keep, try and do that. I'm not always successful, but um, I do try and uh, do what I can. Uh, Marcus says, if you can't save it, the best thing to do is shave it. Yeah, well, don't use the beard trimmer like I did on mine, first of all, which is why I'm letting it grow back a little bit. Um, Bass Players Guild asked me a question about neck straps, and I can't remember if I've answered this in a previous vlog or not, so I'll wor worth saying again, uh, mainly because I've got mine on now, I've just been doing my practice for today, uh, a bit late on watching the um, European Super Cup, Man United got beat, it wasn't that great, but... Um, Again, Kabula straps. The reason I use Kabula, they've got this lovely little gap in the middle with pads either side. This is not a pay product endorsement. I had to buy this. I did not get it free, even for a view. And I've got to say, since I've purchased this, I have had very little back pain, and I've certainly had zero back pain caused by my saxophone itself. And it saved my career. Two big things. One was that hole. The other thing was, it's much shorter than the other straps I've had. I'm a big guy. I've normally tended to go for larger straps, bigger straps, and that necess wasn't necessarily the best thing to do because actually what you want is the correct size strap. So I know that Kabul have now got some dealers um, around uh, certain European countries and they deal with it. I dealt with directly with um, I think it was Robert, if I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but they were fantastic and I'd highly recommend them and the strap has been brilliant. I've had this now, I think I had it when I was still in Ireland, so at least five years. Uh, Jay asked me, interested in the signs he thought I played a Yanni, maybe I've again answered that already. Um, yeah, I still play the Yanni, um, it's just over there. I just prefer the six at the moment, that's what I tend to do, it gives me the sound I want, as I've said uh, when I was at the launch of the WO Alto. I said to the guys from Yanagasara over from Japan, build me a tenor that plays as well as my six, that sounds as well as my six, I should say, because their saxophones do play incredibly well, and I'll play it all the time, <laughs> because I'd rather leave the six, um, you know, kind of out of danger, as it were. Uh, Yanagasara was a phenomenal horn, but just the sound that I desire at my instrument, for a long time I've been searching for a sound, I'm getting closer and closer to it each time I'm playing that Mark Six. It's not there yet, but it's getting closer to what I, what I what I hear in my head and what I want to be able to play. And that's every musician's desire, is to be able to get to that sound. Thank you for the questions and the comments. Uh, as I said, um, if you get any others, hit me up on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you have and you don't already, please hit that subscribe button. Um, it makes such a huge difference to the quality of the videos I can make. There'll be no vlog tomorrow. It's my wife's birthday. Um, so I'm having a clear day where I won't be vlogging or doing anything. I'll hopefully be back Friday um, with another saxophone related vlog. Keep up your practice if you're doing the same thing. Uh, now had 15 days straight through everyday practice. It, mean, it makes such a difference. Um, it's hard, you know, like tonight, it wasn't till like 
quarter past eight in the evening that I was able to get down and practice, but at least I got down, I did my practice and it's done. And you know, I can cross today off on the box, which is the main thing. And I'm working on specific things. I can already feel it getting better. So I highly recommend that. I'm also gonna start a new challenge for me. And I'm saying this on the vlog, so you can all hold me accountable to it. Casey Neistat on his vlog was talking about running. He's a you know, fitness freak. But he said, you know, it's not about distance when you start, it's about time. So next week, a new challenge, and I'm announcing it now on the vlog to hold myself to it, is I'm gonna run every day for five minutes, and then it'll be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and we'll see how we go from there. Hopefully I won't be vlogging from hospital after that. Sure will be fine. Thank you very much for watching, bye.